Breakfast of Champions, eh, Cher? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. And happy Canada Day. It is July 1st this morning. We were up at about 7 o'clock this morning and the sun was beaming through. Birds were singing. Birds were singing. We saw a little jackrabbit came and visited our site. Or I think it was a snowshoe hare. I keep calling it a jackrabbit, but I don't believe that's what it is. And yeah, so Andrea and Riley are scouting out a new campsite. We shared a campsite last night, just in the interest of expedience and staying dry together. But they're trying to find another one uh, before any other parties show up. And we are just enjoying one of the finest mornings you're ever going to find in our fair country. With a little bit of bacon and eggs, some coffee. And fellowship. Yeah. And the sun is out. It's nice and warm this morning. So I've put my socks, my wool socks from yesterday, up to dry uh, in the sunny boughs of this uh, black spruce. But um, upon closer inspection, we've had some visitors over the past day. And upon closer inspection, you will see that there are these little caterpillars, these little inchworms that have been cocooned up and they're just hatching in these boughs, in the edges of these boughs. And they are dropping. I don't know if I can catch one of them in the air. There he is. They are dropping in on us. <laughs> you can kind of see them in the foreground, but I can't focus on them anyway. And they've been just dropping all over us um, on from the tops of these spruce trees because as you can see we're nestled under all these spruce trees but such is life and we are part of nature and they are also so we accept their presence as long as they accept ours and as long as they don't eat my socks So we're just out searching for wood, kind of, in a half-hearted way, searching <laughs> for a standing dead tree, but basically just enjoying this beautiful sunny day here on Canada Day, and we've come upon this beautiful cliff overlooking the Gargantua River, and there's a little bit of hardwood around here, so we're hoping to find some something standing and dead, but just enjoying the day. Hope your day's going well as well. <laughs> So we were using this last night, the old Agua Canyon 4L21, and there's a retainer pin, I don't know if you can see, the retainer pin that normally goes around this little pin, it's like a cotter pin, much like that. And we've, please disregard the finger injury. <laughs> anyway, we lost the darn thing at some point, we only noticed this morning, but Sherry found this pin somehow, I don't know how, she's an, a wizard. 
or a witch, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to use this very carefully over the next day or two, and hopefully we can find a replacement cotter pin. Back on the trail, all four of us. This time we're a lot lighter of a load because we're just carrying our little day packs with our frivolities in them, like our <laughs> waters and snacks and towels. But the day is gorgeous, and we're headed up to Chalfant Cove to see if there's a nice beach up there. Well, we know there's a nice beach up there or two, but see if we want to get in the water. I've already swum today. It took me about two hours to bring the body temperature back up, so maybe the hike will do it. We're here on the little hike up to Chalfant Cove, and on a sunny day, these ferns just pop so beautifully, it almost feels like a rainforest in this beautiful northern mixed forest that we're in here. So, so neat. Just this tiny trail cut through this dense, deep forest that we humans only take just this little bit so that we can share it. I think that's pretty cool. State of the trail. Enjoy it. I think they're called lady slippers. I'll look it up. Well, we've reached Indian Harbor. This is the river here. It's actually pretty low flow right now. But Sharon and I have been here before a couple of times. We hiked here a few years ago. And uh, it's really low flow right now. We hiked here a few years ago and then we canoed here last year. We canoed up this little stretch of river or creek, I guess it is. And you can see the tide, quote it, so to speak, is actually coming back in. So look at that. Just as I, I'm videoing, the creek is starting to fill back up. Just the tide's coming back in, babe. And here is the lookout at Indian Harbor. Under this little natural harbor of Lake Superior. And there's the big lake. Sharon and I paddled to a little ca a campsite just in this little next little bay over here last year. You made it. Made it. You did. Still a little bit left to go to the beach. We still got a little bit left to go to the beach, but we are getting close. This is a bit of a climb. Look at the treachery that we are going to deal with. This is fantastic.
So we're going to head back from Chalfan Cove. We're going to head back to the campsite at Warp Bay. And I am trying to achieve maximum dork level. So I put my bug shirt on over my chili hat. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think I've unlocked a new level of dork. But I'm going to be safe from the bugs. I have welts all over because I was being proud. Now I'm, as you can see, not proud at all. Absolutely love to see. This is a cedar, and it has grown a limb that failed, and then two, three other limbs are doing quite well off of that one that seemingly failed. Very interesting. There's some spots up here that are a bit sketchy. Like I think it's because the banks have eroded a fair bit and it basically puts you right close to the edge almost bordering on over the edge I'm going to show you it's not here Oof. it's up here <laughs> yeah right here so it takes you eerily close and there's nothing really to hang on to on the bank so you've got to just really be very careful here <laughs> right on the very edge it's not like it's deep water or anything but you know it's water <laughs> fun Right? So we're just having a little fire here, hanging out by the fire. It's a bit windy, but we have a little guest. And he is foraging while we try to warm our bones. Howdy, my beautiful friends. So we're here in the golden hour. Warp Bay on Canada Day. 
we're feeling pretty thankful for giving the opportunity being given the opportunity to be here and to share this bounty and this beauty with you and with one another and here we are it's almost unbelievable how breathtaking it is and that we've been so blessed to have won the birth lottery to be so close to uh, such untouched beauty relatively untouched We've got a fire going at the campsite. We've got a bunch of new neighbors that just uh, came in today. Every campsite here now is full today, um, which is great. It's a, of, of people quietly enjoying the bounties of Lake Superior and the surroundings, and so that's really cool. We had an awesome hike today um, up to Shalfant Cove and back, and it bagged all of us. We, we all are a little bit surprised of how we've done the hike, Sharon and I have done the hike before, but it's just so, there's so much to see and so many ups and downs and it's just fantastic and yeah, it just takes the energy out of you and we've had a nice dinner and now we're just chatting around the fire, we've got some bunny rabbits doing the same with us and um, we'll check in before we head to bed, but I wanted you to catch, catch the, uh, the golden hour and specific to I'm going to turn the camera around here friends specific to out here at the uh, like the, the warehouse out at the island and that it's just just magnificent And we will see you shortly before we head to bed. Hope you're having a great Canada day. We'll talk soon. We're never going to use this. We're never going to use this. Hold on. Let's...